Billions of dollars in debt is on the line at the Supreme Court. Lauren Blanchard has the arguments for and against the president's plan to forgive some student loans. It was one of Joe Biden's most ambitious campaign promises to wipe away student loan debt. Since October, his effort to forgive up to $20,000 for many borrowers has been on hold because a federal court blocked it. Education! Now his hopes hinge on the Supreme Court, but the conservative majority seems skeptical. This is a grant of $400 billion, and it runs headlong into Congress's uh, appropriations authority. Others questioned if Biden's plan is fair to Americans who paid off their debts. Half a trillion dollars is being diverted to one group of favored persons over others. The high court's final decision, which is expected later this year, impacts 40 million Americans and could cost taxpayers billions. We acknowledge that this is an economically significant action. Among those challenging the White House, a group of six Republican-led states. What the agency is effectively doing <coughs> is exercising the power of the purse by going into the federal balance sheet and crossing off nearly a half trillion dollars in loans payable to the government. The administration, meanwhile, is relying on the HEROES Act to cancel the debt, a law enacted after 9-11 to keep service members from being financially worse off because of a national emergency. The White House argues the pandemic falls under that category. Congress could not have made this much more clear. Outside the courtroom, Democratic lawmakers and activists showed their support. Do the right thing. Support Biden's proposal. Cancel student debt. The White House says 26 million have applied for debt relief so far. 16 million have been approved. Outside the Supreme Court, Lauren Blanchard, WDRB News.